the magic wand. We use it in workshops. It can be intimidating. And I find, I know before I took a workshop, I didn't know how to use the magic wand. I liked it. I could orgasm from it, but there are certain techniques that help make it more pleasurable. Yes. And, you know, we never get instructions when we buy a sex toy. And even if it's not the wand, that's our favorite. <laughs> we want to use something else. How do I use a vibrator? Will I get addicted to a vibrator? Yes. <laughs> and I'm here to say you won't get addicted, and but you do have to use it correctly. It's like any other thing in life. So first off, start with your hands. Yes. You want to get that feedback. You want to start with a massage. You want to slow walk your arousal. You want to kickstart that blood flow. And just like we always say, start from the outside and work in. Start in the inguinal crease, that crease between your outer labia and inner thigh, then into your labia. Tease around your clitoris. Don't go mm. right for the money. Right, right, <laughs> right. Don't walk it. Right, right. And keep the vibrator on low to start. I mean, always I'm a, start low. Yeah. Don't go high because right. you're like, I only have 10 minutes. Right. Give yourself 20 to 30 minutes and start low. Right. Exactly. Exactly. What what sets the magic wand apart, in my opinion, is the fact that it's rumbly. And the rumbly vibrator is going to get to your internal clitoris. So think about the legs of your clitoris, the bulbs of your clitoris are under your outer labia in the outside part. So just like using like, you know, the magic wand is a massager for your neck and shoulders. So it feels good on your neck and shoulders. It's going to also feel good to access your internal clitoris on your outer labia. We tend to want to go like right for like you or oh, those 10,000 nerve endings, but it can be too much. It can be too much to start. And you can have a quick orgasm mm -hmm. and then it gets sensitive and then you have to wait a minute. So you want a vibrator with that nice wand, that large surface area so we can get the whole vulva. So like you said, we hit the legs and the bulbs. I like to start a, and do circles just like mm -hmm. I do with my hands. Mm -hmm. Hit the perineum, that little area below your vagina, erectile mm -hmm. tissue. Mm -hmm. Play with, for some reason, my outer labia now are really sensitive yeah. and it's my right top. Mm -hmm. I like to do a circle, hit my clitoral shaft, go above my clitoris. Yes. Circle around, build up. You can't lose it. So you can, it can feel really nice and you slide over off it. You never stay in one spot. Yes. It feels good. Then you mm -hmm. slide off. So if you hold your vibrator in one position, so I like to hold it. So it's resting in my hand and then my hand's resting on my hip. Mm -hmm. So I'm not holding it. So my muscles are tense. Right. And then I just move my hips and I kind of hump it. Yes. Yes. So you're either going to move your body against the vibrator or move the vibrator across your body, you know, or even like both at the same time. I mean, you can get like a little dance going. You, you'll find your own technique. Um, and lube. Oh my gosh. Lube makes the difference. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes like every now and then I'll just get like a little lazy and try to like, just kind of grab the vibrator and just, you know, it's like, uh, -uh. It, it, it's like lube is everything. And in between orgasms. So what happens when I feel, cause it's going to take me about 10, 15 minutes. You hit that first orgasm wave. You feel it coming. And usually the first wave comes in and out and it goes mm -hmm. and we get like, Oh, and then we want to apply pressure. Never right. push it in. You don't right. have to push the vibrator and it's not going to get you there faster. It, it's just going to like numb you out. Right, right, right. Yes. Going too high too soon and also pressure. It will, will numb you out. So knowing what stimulation we need, we start low and then what it is, is you're building, building. And if you feel like you're plateauing, mm -hmm. that's when you kick it up. So you start with your hand. Then I feel like, oh, I'm not building anymore. Okay. Then I'm going to put the vibe in on one. Then mm -hmm. I'm going to be building, building, building. And then if you feel like, oh, I'm plateauing, I can't get over. Then you kick it up to two. Yes. So yeah. start low, build up. And I always take like two orgasms before mm -hmm. I even let the vibrator hit my clitoris. Yes, yes. And the patterns. I just want to talk a little bit about the patterns because I think those are so underutilized. You know, it, it kind of like builds variety. You know, you don't have to like work as hard. Find a pattern that you like. I know... Um, uh, some women in the documentary, there was someone, I think it was Sayaka, who talks about, you know, the one pattern she she uses while she reads uh, uh, pornography. 
because it like helps her last a little bit longer. And we want to last a little bit longer as we're building up to an orgasm. Um, so you can have a lot of fun with the patterns. I know my favorite is the <laughs> because it's kind of like, you know, I'm building up, like I'm anticipating the real good, like, but it doesn't stay there long enough for me to numb out. So then it pulls back and I feel like, okay, I'm like trying to catch the orgasm on, on like the high wave. I love that pattern. I love the little one that goes, and <laughs> now what I do is I stay with a consistent vibration mm -hmm. until I have my first orgasm. Cause now I'm fully aroused. Right. And then I mess with the patterns. Yes. So just know you, you can't break it. You right. can't fail. Mm -hmm. Um, follow the sensation, follow with it. You'll know what feels good because your body will move into it. Yes. Don't go right on your clit. Don't do pressure. Enjoy the good feelings. You won't get addicted. I can still have an orgasm with my hand and mm -hmm. I like to go between the two. Yes. Sometimes I get right in front of an orgasm and then I put my hand down. Mm -hmm. And that's really what's best is the combination. Absolutely.